So I'm going to snipe seller stores, but I'm going to do it using this automated Google Sheet to look up the sources of their products, of the seller's products in bulk, right? And this does not require any software at all. All right, all we need is the free Chrome extension and this Google Sheet, and that's it. So first of all, we'll just start off with a basic search. So for instance, I'll just search for the term chairs. For this video, I'm focusing more on the drop shipping concept. So um, if I were drop shipping, that's the, the typical type of item that you might drop ship, right? And then I'll find a product um, just kind of randomly. In this case, I'm just going to randomly choose a product. And what I want to do is look at the seller list. And I'm really looking for fulfilled by merchant sellers who are all selling this product. And then I can just randomly choose a seller. Um, you may want to go for a seller with a lot of ratings. As you can see, some of these sellers that have very large ratings, a large number of ratings. And then you click on, um, if you hopefully you saw that step where I clicked on the storefront link, visit the storefront. And this is a list of all their products. All right, all their products. So now all I have to do is click on the free Chrome extension, which is Instant Data Scraper, and it will put this red box around their products, and now I'm going to collect their products. I will turn on the infinite scroll, the locate next button, all right, and click on that. Don't click anything now, just make sure you scroll, but don't click until you get to the next button. Click the next button, and then immediately return to the data scraper, which is down here on your taskbar and then click on start crawling and it should go ahead and scrape the remaining pages and what it's doing is clicking that next button uh, automatically walking essentially or scrolling through these pages and collecting products from all these different pages you can already see 112 products collected from the seven pages now I could let this run as long as it will and collect as many products um, as possible but for the sake of time in this video uh, and just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to actually stop it after a couple more pages are scraped. So I think yeah, I've got a good number of pages here. I'll just stop. And I scraped 15 pages, uh, 256 products. Obviously, I could have scraped more. Now I will click on the CSV option. And by the way, in the preview, you can see all the data, the product data in here um, that's available and I've downloaded it to a CSV. Now, now that I have the CSV, I'll simply come over to the Amazon Auto Sourcer, over to the IDS CSV Sheet tab, File, Import, Upload, select a file from your device, and in the Downloads folder, I should have the most recent, it should be my most recent download, which I believe is here, Amazon, with the 43 because I downloaded so many of them and now I will just replace the current sheet it's very simple to do and import the data and this is it alright this is the CSV as you can see links titles now one thing that is a little different um, if you've already been using the system and you've been using mapping the data from amazon.com the map for this storefront is a little different the title is different okay basically the CSV the titles are stored in a different column so different column name so what I did is I added a uh, columns map for Amazon storefront you can actually do this yourself you can add it in here yourself just copy these down and just change this one but should be an update this should be available it is available as an update version 1.1 the storefront. Now uh, I select Amazon storefront and then import IDS data. So it's important that I select this Amazon storefront. Okay, so now I have URLs that just populated from the CSV. So I will go ahead and click on Get ASINs, and it will extract the ASINs from the URLs. This is important. In case I, well, not, I shouldn't really say in case, but this is important for uploading um, ASINs to Keepa or any other software that you might be using, or just because ASINs are used to identify products on Amazon, so of course you want the ASINs, right? And now the titles are in, 
as well. And next will be the prices. Now, once I have the titles, I can go ahead and start the auto source and process by clicking on source all products, making sure that I'm on this first row because it will start wherever you are. All right, so you have to make sure you're uh, make sure you place the mouse pointer, the selector where you want it to start. All right, make sure you select that cell, and now it will start. Okay, and as well has already started, and so you can see that it is going down these product titles and the prices will eventually come in as well but I went ahead and started the auto sourcing on the titles and you can already see uh, some different sources are showing up so I can start just looking at some of these sources uh, some of these products so here's one product that came up and then I can check to see what came up here on eBay and see if that's um, the same thing or similar might not be and normally I'm not really using this for eBay uh, I'm not sourcing from eBay to Amazon this is for Reno for instance on Amazon and here's the same product on Walmart okay so um, you're gonna have more success uh, with products that come from uh, Walmart or even some of these other suppliers like Lowe's and a lot really uh, there are over 3,000 possible suppliers on my uh, this list of suppliers I have inside the sheet these are the suppliers that it will look for it will only look for the suppliers on this list this is a very important detail to understand alright the program can only look for the suppliers you give it if you want to add you can go to the bottom control down get to the bottom and you can try adding more suppliers in here this was one I was just testing but you can add more suppliers at the bottom okay um, now we can check now I mean I can randomly kind of go through and check products just for the sake of checking okay this one is saying known to file IP complaints I have a Chrome extension IP alert giving me that report um, for which I actually have a discount code by the way if you're interested in that Chrome extension or the other one I use uh, seller assistant app also you also get a deal through my link for this as well if you're interested right and um, you can see that this is the same product as well okay so we see that this is the same product 105.99 okay maybe profitable might be profitable profitable and might not be profitable right so some are going to be profitable and some are not and that's why this is helpful because you're doing it in bulk so you're able to discover that more quickly than you would if you had manually look through these okay what I'm actually going to do alright I was doing that process uh, to start off but what I can do here is I can begin I would like to show that you can get prices from some sites but not all with this get prices function so now this get prices this is this is a built-in not a built-in this is a function I created rather so it's not built-in um, and basically what I'm doing is I'm scraping uh, websites the prices and then bringing them into the Google sheet however uh, currently as the, the date of this video it is not able to scrape from Walmart it doesn't pull the prices from Walmart but um, it is able to pull prices from lots of other sites but not every website because generally they have to be programmed individually somewhat individually alright so you can do that but you can also of course just manually get the price and type the price in yourself uh, which will allow you to calculate the uh, profit and then if you use the Keepa data. I'm not going to do that in this video, but that's because Keepa is more if you want like FBA fees. Uh, also, if you want to get uh, you know other data, but I'm not using any software in this video. This is just all going to be manual. Um, and then again, whatever I can, whatever else I can use. So now Lowe's, for instance, if I'm looking at this product, all right. Okay, again, appears to be the same product, 
see what it is on lows overview right and uh, oh so, <laughs> this item is no longer sold I didn't see that before right okay no longer sold on lows okay well so that's one what was the other so well oh it also came upon Home Depot um, let's see what Home Depot has for this product and Home Depot has what 162.96 I mean it's cheaper on Home Depot but as you can see not much not much cheaper than the 188.95 um, on Amazon right so many products are going to be like this right many products are not really going to seem profitable up front maybe with some cash back possibly maybe with the 10 percent cash back it is I don't know but many products are going to be like this but you're if you go through enough products you will find uh, whoops what's going on there you will find uh, when I put this price here you're gonna see a negative profit here but you'd have to add some kind of cash back right and still it might not be enough but many products are not going to be profitable this is the nature of arbitrage and so you may go through a lot of products to find one that's profitable but um, the idea is that you have the sellers products in a spreadsheet that you've been able to pull that data in and you now also have sources all right you have possible sources of the sellers products so here's as you can see there's another product that was sourced right so here's the guy's product Amazon the listing right and here it is on Walmart 1538 for two pack right so uh, you know and I'm not suggesting any particular suppliers in this video I'm not saying to use Walmart to drop ship or anything like that onto Amazon I'm not like suggesting anything but I'm just showing you but this is a tool that does reverse search the titles Walmart is an example you're going to see Walmart and Home Depot a lot when you do this you're gonna see major suppliers because they're the most popular ones more likely those are the suppliers that are going to come up for a lot of different people's stores right but if you do more work and you go deeper in your investigation maybe looking for more brands from more uh, different suppliers you can begin to search those brands here and see if you can find maybe some other supplier results as well find uh, perhaps a seller who is selling products from a different supplier right and that uh, might help you as well for instance here's something from Wayfair I don't know what the price is though but this price looks as high uh, I find Wayfair has high prices a lot of times when I compare um, to Amazon but I have drop shipped from Wayfair in the past to Amazon successfully on a select few products but overall I find that a lot of the products uh, are high priced um, when I compare them to Amazon that's just across the board all right uh, here's another thing I might look at all right it is um, 4805 on Amazon and here I see it for um, 52.99. Yeah, not really profitable here, right? So that's the thing, all right? I mean, so really, what's going to help out a lot in making this quicker is when you can actually get the price products, right? When you can get those prices uh, automatically, but it does not work for all suppliers. So when I click get prices, some will work, some will not. I'm this get price function is still very much under development. When it hits a website, it can't do. It might just stop. So I'm going to go to the next line and hit get prices. But you see, it is able to do uh, Home Depot. Um, sometimes it does eBay, but it's also it's able to do Home Depot uh, and some other ones. But you know, it just it really just depends. Um, and so it's not perfect. The other thing I'm um, uh, I can incorporate here, which I will do and have to release, is another version, and I'll probably do it as a um, not as an update but as a separate version of this same system is what uh, what I can do is integrate it with skew grid and uh, we can use skew grid um, to pull sources and pull their data and then we can pull data in a bulk because skew grid can do a lot of suppliers and I'll, if you um, are familiar with skew grid you can just take a look at that quickly All right uh, Skewer can scan 
many different suppliers um, and is really a dropshipping software and worked with, with many many different suppliers a large number of suppliers let's see if I can pull up the suppliers list right now but uh, let's see as you can see there are a very large number of suppliers that they work with hundreds of suppliers and this is not all of them right and in uh, many different regions as well not just the US the US they've got UK Canada they've got uh, all different uh, you know different regions and so that will help in pulling prices from uh, some of these different random suppliers and then what that will do is allow us to get a quicker calculation on the profit <clears throat> excuse me a quicker calculation on the profit over on the right side of the sheet okay but you can try to get prices in a few key places and see if it works out but as I said it's kind of that's under construction so to speak as far as this Google sheet is concerned now if you um, I do have the get price function as an individual uh, function that you can uh, actually add to to your spreadsheet where you can use it yourself uh, rather right now it's wired in so to speak into this whole function of this spreadsheet but you can actually um, get your own separate access and it works uh, by simply typing in equal get price this way and then selecting the link press an enter and then you'll see <coughs> you'll get a result usually for certain suppliers all right so for instance for target I get that result right this is gonna allow me to do the profit calculation a lot faster right whether it's negative or positive and of course I want to find things that are profitable but it's gonna take time to do that but anyway, the purpose of this video is just to show you that you can, in fact, scrape uh, products from a storefront, and then you have a, a CSV map where you can bring those that data in, all of those products in of a seller's store. You can source them automatically, find possible sources of the seller's products, and that uh, will save you some time and kind of give you an organized way of going through their products and trying to find sources of their products. So that is basically it. Um, I do have a link in the description of this video if you want to try this Amazon Auto Sourcer system. And normally when I use it, I don't do sniping. Usually it's just doing a general search uh, on Amazon itself. So you can just do a general search and just scrape right straight from this page. But for this video, I was focusing on sniping because I know that is something that people um, want to do as well but get the the tool through a link in the description of this video go ahead try it you can also contact me directly if you've got comments questions suggestions those are always very very helpful actually a suggestion or a comment a question is what led me to this video so it's uh, always helpful um, and enlightening so if you want to contact me directly that's very uh, you're welcome to do that and uh, yeah that's basically it I'm Mr. Mark. This is Excel for Amazon Dropshipping. Look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around on the channel.